is Harimaya again with you and uh, I'm going to share my music experience with um, the American musicians and especially with the music school team uh, what I got the ch uh, chance or the opportunity to share my music with other friends and it was so much um, so much really good experience for me I, I had never uh, had a chance to do the jazz music or the, the folk music here and uh, I got that chance uh, last I think that's two years ago and it's it was really it was really good experience for me to doing in you know all my um, alafs like it's called improvisation and I first I was kind of scared to do that and you know how I'm gonna do that uh, but I knew that uh, music has a is a universal language. It doesn't need a need a language barrier or anything. And then when I started to do that uh, with Matt, jazz, jazz music was from Matt, and uh, I feel like oh I can do it. And then I started to do my improvisation. When I was in there, I didn't realize that was my classical music or the. Uh, or the jazz music and I was just uh, re relaxing and um, having some joy inside and I can see the audience face they, are, they were also enjoying and uh, they told oh you're doing good later so uh, it was kind of so much so much to learn music has a, like a really big uh, wide uh, scope and uh, we are still you know learning from each other and these kind of events uh, like a fusion or the collaboration of eastern classical and western music it's really uh, beneficial for us and uh, we are really um, looking forward to do more and more this kind of events uh, and uh, the, the folk music also was so good you know everyone was doing really nice David also doing so good and I think the in the, on the folk music uh, frame is gonna talk about and I'm just focusing on my jazz music and it was really um, good experience and uh, uh, I really wanted to learn more on jazz music whenever I have a chance I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna try to polish myself better and better in, in, the, in the future thank you so much for it um, your time and we'll, we are looking forward to do more uh, concerts like this. Thank you. Hello friends. This is Prem. I am a tabla player. This double drum is called tabla. This is special for Asian classical music. So today I am going to share a little bit my experience with uh, eastern and western rhythm so some friends asking me what is the difficulty and different so i can say uh, there is little bit difficulty and little bit difference so difficulty is when i learn a drum with a stick so holding my hands tired my arms you know and uh, we need a teacher first we have to go details how to hit and which uh, which beat is hardly we need to hit with which beat is softly so you know <clears throat> that's why we need to go details so there is a little bit difficulty uh, you know every instrument is a little bit difficulty difficulty to learn <clears throat> so different is western music uh, instrument like rhythm western rhythm is goes to straight uh, there is no uh, boundary they can go straight and they can start any time variation but eastern rhythm there has boundary eastern eastern rhythm goes to cycle round and round 
every cycle have to come on the down beat after that we can start the variation so let's play a little bit eastern and western uh, rhythm this is four by four so this is my downbeat so after that i can start my variation and western rhythm it goes to straight and any time we can start variation so that's that's a little bit different so last time we played with uh, mr david surat he's a very great musician mr scott mr matt they played a western classical jazz and i play eastern classical rhythm it was very joyful uh, so i didn't feel that time any much difficulty because the music is a universal language so we understand each other so same way uh, they played the eastern folk music and i accompany with the eastern beat also we enjoy a lot of so i hope you guys also enjoying with us thank you for today um, welcome to this amazing day um so i'm peggy center it's great to see you all here and um i have a couple of announcements that i always make so um i'd like to thank the sponsors of the box launch series um the walker lecture fund has sponsored them since the very first year 1988 never missing a year at the walker lecture fund <laughs> Sunday and 
you know, if you can watch somebody listen, I never thought about that before. It's a visual to, about listening. That's what those faces were. Of, they were listening so hard. And I thought, what a great metaphor for all of us. If we just listen to each other, what a wonderful world, right? So, um, so thank you guys. I'm excited.
Hi, this is Scott Kiefner from the Concord Community Music School. Um, excited to be revisiting this set of music that we made in uh, in 2019. Um, just uh, it's been it's been very fun to to remember uh, sort of the process of of uh, trying to make this concert come together. Um, uh, I don't think any of us really had any idea going into it uh, what it would actually end up sounding like. Um, and it was very fun to take these uh, seemingly very different traditions um, and focus on this, the common element of improvising and creating something spontaneous in the moment. Um, and these traditions sort of each have a different perspective uh, on, uh, on how they do that and how they use structure and um, the kinds of material um, that each tradition uses, and we sort of were able to find ways to to borrow um, to borrow structures and to borrow language, um, and uh, find find a uh, common place where we could all create together, and uh, and that was very special and and definitely one of the most uh, exciting things I've ever been a part of. Um, and I think I think we created something that that was pretty unique. So um, uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Hi, folks. This is David Surrett here at my home in South Berwick, Maine, and I'm so glad that you're tuning in to check out this concert that uh, myself and Harry and Prem and Matt and Scott did back at the music school a couple years ago. It was really a wonderful experience. I had first heard that. Ari and Prem had begun to teach at the school on the weekends, so I never saw them. But I was hearing wonderful things about their teaching and the music that they were creating with a lot of the Nepali community, which is dispersed around New Hampshire and other places in New England. And I've been very interested in that music for a while, so I thought, wow, this is a great opportunity for me to try to connect with some folks who are, you know, tradition bearers in this wonderful Indian classical music tradition. So I did meet Hari and Prem. I think the first thing we actually collaborated on was a little little bit of music on the um, Concord Multicultural Festival with Bill Fletcher and Dave Nugent. And it really whet our appetite to do a little more. I started going over to their apartment in Concord. They were so gracious and opened up their home to me with their family, with their, their daughter and their son. and. Uh, we would talk and Hari would always make some food. She's a wonderful cook in addition to being a wonderful musician. And we started to play a little bit and try to find some common ground. Um, I'm very, I've been very interested in improvisation for a long time, so that was certainly one area. Um, and very interested in uh, Indian and Nepali music and culture, for, as well as food, for, for a long time. So that was another interest. And we decided that we would try to put something together with a couple other musicians from the school. And I immediately thought of Matt Langley, uh, one of the best improvisers I have ever heard and ever had the pleasure to work with. And then Scott Kiefner as well, who I didn't know as well. But we had really bonded over uh, the flood at the school when I uh, was able to get his bass out before it was about to get swamped. And he was so appreciative. and. Um, I knew he was a wonderful musician, so it really clicked. We decided that we would try to find common ground between uh, the Indian style classical music that Hari and Prem play, as well as some of their folk music. Hari wrote a song that we performed, and then je uh, American jazz and uh, Celtic music. I, I brought the Celtic and folk elements, so you'll see that in the piece that you're about to see, which is an Irish jig called Monk's Jig. And obviously this is very unusual instrumentation for this kind of music, but I think it really works well. And there's a nice sort of dialogue at the end of the piece between Prem on the tabla and myself on the mandolin, where we're going back and forth, um, sort of an exchange uh, of ideas and phrases. And then we come back to the melody itself. It's very exciting, and the whole the whole process was just a wonderful experience. I do remember vividly going to the music school on a Sunday morning for one of our final rehearsals, and it was the last time 
the first time that we had played fully the Raga piece and the sun was coming through the stained glass windows of the church at the school there, the recital hall, and we played and improvised solidly for a half hour and it was just a wonderful experience. So I hope you get some of that feeling um, as you enjoy this concert and uh, thank you very much for tuning in and thanks to all the other musicians who uh, were so willing to participate in this musical adventure. I hope you enjoy it. Hello, I'm Matt Langley. I've been on the faculty at the music school for quite some time, but my opportunities to work with David Surrett have been pretty rare. This concert uh, allowed me to work with David closely. He did a lot of the work with Hari and Prem before I even got involved. He uh, went to dinner and learned some of the raga, wrote it down, transcribed it. So by the time I was involved, he had already had a lot of it uh, transcribed and learned. But I got to go to a couple of that, those dinners at Hari and Prem's and we had a great time learning the raga and learning how to communicate with each other so we would know which sections were coming and going. So when you watch this concert uh, and you hear the raga, there, uh, Hari is, is giving a lot of signals to us and Prem as well. Prem is letting us know the sections, but Hari's kind of letting us know what melodies are coming and when to improvise and when to move on. So that was a huge experience to learn all of that. And David uh, Surrett was the conduit, but Hari and Prem were so uh, welcoming and so friendly with their teachings. It was really, really fun. The piece that I brought was a Herbie Hancock piece that was has a nice short melody and has a pretty, uh, it has some harmony, but not a lot. So made it easy to improvise on and easy to hear and learn. So I hope you enjoy the concert and uh, thank you very much to Peggy Center and the, everyone at the music school for making this happen and everyone at the uh, Walker Lecture Series. Thank you very much.
envelopes, we can have a couple more numbers. <laughs> if you have, have to get it to work, we won't see it. <laughs> this is our uh, arrangement of a little Irish jig. It's called Must Jig.